Bye guys. Hello everyone. Welcome to our math class. Our topic for today is about definition of quadratic equation. Learning objectives. Define and illustrate quadratic equation. Differentiate the different kinds of quadratic equations. Determine the values of A, B, and C in the given equation. Write quadratic equation in the standard form. What is quadratic equation? It is a second degree equation. The general form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. In this equation, x represents a variable. Where a, b, and c are constants, where a is not equal to zero. If the value of a is zero, then the equation is linear. Hence, a is a quadratic coefficient, b is the linear coefficient, and c is the constant. There are two kinds of quadratic equations. Number one, complete quadratic equations, and number two, incomplete quadratic equations. AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero is called complete quadratic equation. AX squared plus C is equal to zero. AX squared plus BX is equal to zero. AX squared is equal to zero are called incomplete quadratic equation. So remember the two kinds of quadratic equations, complete and incomplete. So we have the example here, determine the values of A, B, and C. So we have the equation 3x squared plus 6 is equal to 0. So remember, the general form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we have the equation 3x squared plus 6 is equal to 0. What do you think the a here? Always remember, arrange in decreasing order, right? You must determine the a, b, and c. So what do you think the a here? Yes, you're right. It's 3. Very good. How about the b? So, from the general form, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, meron ba? Meron bang x here? Wala. So, the b is 0. Very good. How about the c? Yes. There's a constant here, which is 6. Very good. From the equation, the x squared plus 6 is equal to 0. The a is 3. The b is 0. And the C is 6. We have another example. Determine the values of A, B, and C in the following. So we have the following equations. The first one is 2x squared minus 5x is equal to 0. What do you think the A here? So you must remember general form. AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0. So, the A here is, very good, 2. How about the B? Yes, you're right. It's negative 5. How about the C? It's 0. Good job. How about the second equation? We have x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. What do you think the A here? Yes, you're right. It's 1. How about the x? What is the numerical coefficient? Yes, you're right. Same, it's 1. How about the constant? Yes, it's negative 6. Good job. 
How about the third equation? We have 12x minus 9 plus 4x squared is equal to 0. So always remember, in general form, you must be uh, arrange it from highest to lowest. Easy for you to determine the A, B, and C. So the A here is, yes, you write it, 4 or positive 4. When I say 4, it means it's positive. So it's a positive 4 or a 4. How about the B? Yes, you write it, 12, which is the value of X, 12X. How about the constant? Yes, you're right. It's a negative 9. Good job. Another example. We have the equation x, quantity x plus 5 minus 2x is equal to 0. From this equation, you need to simplify first. Easy for you to find out the a, b, and c. So from x, quantity x plus 5, you need to multiply. So there's an arrow here, x times x, and x to the positive 5, which is x squared plus 5x, just copy, negative 2x is equal to 0, simplify, what do you observe? You see a same term, right? 5x and negative 2x. So you need to simplify again, so x squared plus you see the red box, so 5x minus 2x, you need to simplify, it become, you just copy x squared, simplify the 5x and negative 2x, so you just only subtract 5 minus 2, which is 3x is equal to 0. So this is the answer, x squared plus 3x is equal to 0, that is the already in general form. Just copy here, general form. Very easy for you to identify which is the A, B, and C. So from the equation x, quantity x plus 5 minus 2x is equal to 0, the general form is x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. So the A is, yes, 1. How about the B? Yes, it's 3. And the C is? zero because you cannot see any constant there so it's zero very good we have another example determine the values of a b and c in the following we have the equation 4x squared minus 7x squared plus 2 is equal to zero what do you think the a here so first you need to Arrange it in the general form, which is in decreasing order or from highest to lowest order. So the A here is, yes, it's negative 7. And the B is, you're right, it's 4. And the C is positive 2. Very good. How about the second equation? We have 5x plus 4x squared is equal to 0. Yes, the A here is 4. What do you think the B here? Yes, the B is 5 and the C is 0. You're right. How about the third equation? We have 7x squared is equal to 0. What do you think the A here? Yes, you're right. It's 7. How about the B? Did you see anything of the value of x here? No. So it's 0. The constant same is 0. Practice write in general form and determine the values of a, b, and c. So we have the equation. Find the general form and the values of a, b, and c. So we have the first equation, x is equal to 2x squared plus 5. Arrange it in the general form. So it becomes 2x squared minus x plus 5 is equal to 0. And the value of a is 2. The b is negative 1, which is negative x. So the value of x here is 1. 
negative 1 and C is 5. How about the second equation? We have x squared plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. Arrange it in general form. Yes, it becomes x squared plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. It's the same. What do you think the value of A, B, and C? The value of A is it's 1. Very good. How about the B? Yes, you're right. It's 4. And the C? Yes, it's negative 5. How about the third equation? We have 9x is equal to 3x squared. So it's 3x squared minus 9x is equal to 0. What is the value of A here? Yes, you're right. It's 3. And how about the B? Yes, very good. It's negative 9. And the constant here or C is 0. How about the fourth equation? We have y squared plus y plus 5 is equal to 0. Arrange it in general form. Yes, it becomes same. y squared plus y plus 5 is equal to 0. What do you think the value of a? Yes, you write it 1. How about the value of b? Same, 1. And the value of c is 5. Good job. How about the fifth equation? We have x squared minus 2x. Quantity x minus 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. Simplify first before you're going to change into general form. If x squared plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. The value of a is negative 1. The value of b is 4. And the value of c is very good. So you have a short quiz for today. Write the following equations in general form and identify the values of A, B, and C. So we have 10 equations here. Good luck. Check your answer in the comment section. very much for your time. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the notification bell for more updates.